Initially, the guys from Cleveland called me and wanted to uh, put together a project for the Indonesian market. And I've always been interested in getting into the Indonesian market and figuring out kind of something cool to do there. So it's a partner like Cleveland who's already building like a small CC motorcycle that I think is a good customizable platform. Just seems like a it seems like a good partner for us to be able to do that with. So I'm excited about building the bike and uh, doing some fun with it. I went to Custom Fest last year. I was invited by my friend Lalut, um, LT, and uh, we just we went out last year. We had a super good time. Um, the people in Indonesia and Joe Jakarta in particular are so psyched about motorcycles. The show was intense. I mean, there were so many people there, and they really welcomed us with open arms, and we're excited to have us there. So um, I just had a great experience in Indo. I, I love the people. I love the culture. Um, the food is great, there's waves, so it's like just a, a perfect place, really, I, I really like it a lot. I think the Clevelands are, um, they're really simple, you know, and they're, they're not built to be like crazy technically advanced or anything, it's really kind of the basic root of, of what a motorcycle is, you know, and they're, maybe they're not the fastest or it's not like they do, uh, they're not like race bikes and they're not like long distance bikes, but I think for like this, a little city bike, that you don't need to go lightning fast, you know. I think it's a good, it's definitely a good beginner bike and it's a good small CC bike uh, to get you around town and uh, get, get you where you wanna go and kinda do it in style too. I think that like for, for the Indonesian market, the Cleveland motorcycle is a fairly big bike because a lot of what's over there are like little scooters and like little bitty bikes. So the Cleveland, I think represents more of a substantial motorcycle for those guys. Um, it also gives them a good platform to start customizing from. I'll definitely be coming to Custom Fest this year. Last year I went out, I had a great time. We got to surf um, and just spent a couple great, I would just spend, I had a great time in Joe Jakarta um, hanging out with everybody. So 2014 we'll be back in Joja for the show for Custom Fest. Music, punk rock bands, freestyle, giveaways, bike show. It's like everything that you want in a motorcycle event, like all smashed into Joja and a bunch of crazy people come out to see it, so it's a great event. Um, I'm not 100% sure about offering custom parts for the Cleveland yet, so really this is our first opportunity to get our hands on one and to think about the customization options. So we're gonna see how it pans out and see what the response is, and if uh, people like it a lot and they're requesting stuff, you never know, we might make some parts for them. I think what I'm looking forward to most about Custom Fest 2014 is just all my friends, you know, all the people I met while I was there last year, um, the hype of the event, the energy, it's just a good time, man. I really, I really do enjoy it. Going back to Indo in general, though, I just want to surf and, and go, uh, go catch some waves, so that'll be fun. I, the Indonesian motorcycle market is crazy. I mean, there's more motorcycles in Indonesia than I feel like I've ever seen in my life in one place, so. You go to a place like Jogja and you just are bombarded by two-wheeled two -wheeled transportation like everywhere you go, you know, for family, for fun, for business, for transportation, for deliveries. It's like people use motorcycles for everything. So um, I think the sub 500 CC market in Indo, you know, it's alive and well. It, it definitely represents what usable motorcycling looks like you know, in the world today. So I think it's a great place for, for motorcycling to be. I think the Cleveland definitely has a good, a good space to maneuver into in the custom scene in Indonesia because they have like a fairly inexpensive, good working little bike that's simple. It's pretty hard to customize like a, you know, you get this scooter and the scooters have all these plastic parts on them and, and I don't think for customization they're exactly, they're not the perfect machine where a Cleveland's simple, you know, you got spoke wheels, you got a steel frame, you got a removable gas tank and handlebars and seats and you can really do a lot with them, you know. They have swing arms so it's, the bikes have good, decent, bikes have decent suspension and brakes to begin with, so it really gives you a lot of options to customize. I'm going to do whatever LT and the Cleveland guys point me to do while I'm there, so if I'm going to be judging a bike contest, that, that'll be cool. Yeah. The best thing about the Cleveland for the Indonesia market, it, it's definitely its simplicity. You know, when it's built, it is a bike that's built to be customized and a bike that is a small CC and something that is not really expensive. So it's an approachable bike to purchase and build on and uh, 
I think they hit all the right notes on it, you know, Espe especially for the for the Indonesian market and you know, kind of that more scooter market. Custom Fest is pretty amazing because you get to see guys that are doing stuff like this. And last year when I was there, um, a guy gave me this seat. And uh, I have yet to put it on a bike, but I will. Um, but it's just an incredible piece of art. And this is the type of stuff you're gonna see at Custom Fest. High quality, handmade stuff. And this is what Custom Fest is all about, both from motorcycles to leather work to paint work and everything else. Um, it's impressive, you know? You go to Indo, or you're here in the US and you see certain things and you go to a place like Indo and you, you sometimes see some stuff that's next level and you know, I love this thing, so. That's what you're gonna see out there. I did this quick little rendering of the Cleveland. So this is kind of where we're gonna go with our Cleveland. And it's like a little mix of a cafe racer kind of chopper blend. This was from their chopper, so we're kind of racing out their chopper. Um, and this will be our first shot at a Cleveland, so look forward to showing this to you guys. So I want to thank Cleveland Cycle Works for bringing me out, and thank LT and the whole crew over there um, that put Custom Fest on. Looking forward to coming out again. Last year was a blast, so look forward to seeing all you guys again. Custom Fest 2014, see you there.